Hey everyone, Gerald Singer here. I want to show you something today. I got myself a 2020 summer subscription box for Nickelodeon by Culturefly. Let's open it up and see what we got. As indicated on the subscription box, we see SpongeBob, Rock with Modern Life, Rocket Power, All Real Monsters, and even Rugrats. And Cynthia right here. We also have uh, Gary the Snail on a beach that says no shirt, no shoes, no pants, no problem. Then there's Chucky, and then there's the... I believe that's from Ah uh, Real Monsters, but certainly Rocket Power, Ren Stimpy, and Arnold and Gerald from Hey Arnold. With a clear blue sky. Let's open it up and see what we got. I'm more enthusiastic on this one because I didn't see any spoilers this time, especially when taking this out. I'm going to open these one by one. And as indicated, we got ourselves a Rocco, no wait, a Real Monsters t-shirt. It's a pocket shirt. I have a lot of these in my closet and in my shirt drawer. That'll be perfect to wear I given day I'm in the outside. Next is Rocket Power. Hmm, what is this one? Um, it says Rocket Power, and it's, uh... Ooh, a pouch! It's a pouch, all right. Pretty much for storage. Storage that you can put in various places. Like, you can store your drinks in there, like soda. A drink holder from Rugrats. Raptar. So I believe that I have to inflate this, so I have to put air in it before I even put the drink in it, or put it in the freezer or something. I'm not going to open everything yet, not until I finish making the video. Hey Arnold, Surfing Arnold Slider Pin. This one I'm definitely going to open up. I remember seeing... Ah, this is a surfing pin. Remember the Nicktoons theme song? Nicktoons, a Nickelodeon Nicktoons. A sliding Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold is my favorite cartoon on Nickelodeon. Other than Avatar The Last Airbender. Regard to other cartoons... Ed and Anae is my favorite cartoon of all time, and on Cartoon Network, while Infinity Train is my favorite modern cartoon of all time. My least favorite film is Avatar The Last Airbender by M. Night Shyamalan, better known as The Last Airbender. Of course, uh, what are my thoughts on other shows? Well, I am an Arthur and Cyber Chase fan of regarding PBS Kids. Those are the only two shows I watch to the fullest. And even better, as you can see, I have a sewer ball pennant on hand from the last video. Regarding to Nickelodeon, Fairly Odd Parents and Hey Arnold, SpongeBob, and Avatar The Last Airbender are my four favorites. I do like the Loud House and Casa Grandes, but as it stands, SpongeBob will always be my favorite besides Hey Arnold as indicated by this vinyl statue of Surf and Spongebob. Oh, did I forget to mention I can imitate Patrick? Who's oh, the roast beef and chicken and pizza? And not to offend anyone, but what's so great about dumb old Texas? What did you say? Texas is dumb. Don't you dare take the name of Texas in vain. You mean we can't say nothing about dumb old Texas? No, you can't. All right, I'm just getting uh, hello, carried away. Let's open up the. So let's open up SpongeBob. I remember seeing the commercials for him ripping his pants. It is a vinyl statue, but we don't see him ripping his pants. But we do see him on a surfboard. I also remember an episode of him uh, surfing 
with sand while surfing on his tongue. Yeah. It was pretty hilarious. Not to mention he plowed through a snowman. I also have on hand SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated on the Nintendo Switch. It was well worth owning. Let's just say that for the subscription box. Now I can indicate that pretty much the my seasons are complete. I have on hand the Halloween uh, Two Angry Beavers, the Rocket Power Winter 2019 uh, vinyl statue, and the Springtime vinyl statue of Rocco's Modern Life. Huh. Let's see what's inside this one. A carry bag. This is a to-go bag for all your needs. And it has the same logo, the same materials as the box. The same characters. But nothing on the back, though. Hmm. This is from Rockwell's Modern Life. The doggy. It's an ice pack. So pretty much I just stick it in the freezer and put it in, the, in my drink cooler so I can have my soda, water, and what may call fizzes or, you know, those colored ice drinks that are uh, healthier than soda but as fizzy as soda. I'll leave that uh, closed for now. And last but not least, regarding to Ren and Stimpy, we got ourselves a vinyl statue. Let's open it up and see what we got. So we got two vinyl statues this time. You might have noticed I was wearing a Herbology t-shirt for the Harry Potter subscription box. Let's just say I got the item, but the cardboard is different material compared to this box. Let's just say I was going to open it and film it, but I'd rather open it without filming it if it was done outside because there was no plastic on it. Otherwise, I would have opened it up here. But other than that, this whole lot is worth owning. And I recommend this to anyone who is interested in uh, Nickelodeon subscription boxes. Or Nickelodeon itself. I wonder if they're going to put Fairly Odd Parents in the next one. Or perhaps Danny Phantom. I'm not going to lie, I remember an episode for Danny Phantom about a pirate ghost, and if I remember correctly, they were a bunch of kids, including Danny Phantom, rescued their parents from the evil ghost pirate. But, as indicated from the spoiler page, let's see, the Ariel Monsters pocket t-shirt, the Hey Arnold sliding enamel pin, the rocket power waterproof tech pouch, oh, so it's good for your cell phone! A spunky ice pack from Rockless Modern Life, a tourist Ren vinyl figure, a beach bag, a inflatable drink holder from Reptar of, regarding to the Rugrats, and a SpongeBob vinyl figure. It's not a bad haul anyway. But like the last subscription box, I'm not keeping this box, although for the winter and fall boxes, I use them for other forms of storage, like Lego train tracks, or in the case of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, game mat and booklet storage. You know, like the instructions that you would find in decks for Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh! Having inspired the fact that I got Access Code Talker from Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's just say I decided to bring out a bunch of, go after a bunch of cards related to a meta deck. Especially when I have to use Axis Code Talker in it when I want to. I saw on the a website related to building a deck recipe that you could create your own deck uh, and distribute the idea to the public. And even better, there's this app called Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron that came out recently. And I added my Danger Dark World deck, as well as a Salamon Great backup deck. 
So my backup deck of Salamigree would probably be used uh, in, say, anything above Locals once I have time. But other than that, this is a great haul of a Nickelodeon subscription box. I'll thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next review. And I will link the Nickelodeon subscription box uh, website onto my YouTube channel and my YouTube video. See you in the next review.